So we've got Tom Graham, we've got Jeff, we've got Tucker, we've got Feeder in the house! Woo! Yeah. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. So, 30 years of Feeder. Yeah. Was that the plan, Grant? Uh, it seems a long time, doesn't it? 30. Know, well, yeah. you know, we thought we'd last a while, but maybe 30 years is a bit longer than we expected. It's cool, though, isn't it, Tucker? Do you remember yeah. the first meeting of Feeder, where it happened? What what did it smell like? Yeah, what, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. what was the weather smell going on? Smell of Camden. Yeah. It was Camden, wasn't yeah. it? Come on, tell us about that. Do you want to go? Up? Oh, you go. Well, we met, uh, we went, where was it? Just by Camden Tube yeah, Station. Because I was living on Camden Road and uh, Tucker put an ad in Loot. But, uh, do you remember Loot? Like, There's some ads yeah. paper, yeah. base pair available. So I called him up. I thought, it doesn't sound very English. I didn't know where he was from. Uh, likes like, what was it you said? Like chili peppers, like Jane's Addiction. Yeah, I thought, James oh, Brown sounds interesting. Yeah. So we met in Camden over a cup of tea. Yeah. Doesn't sound very rock and yeah, roll. I thought we were going into pub or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a cup of tea. And it all went from there. And we used to rehearse in that yeah. old, in that arch, yeah. didn't we, Danny King's, King's Cross? Cross. Yeah. So it was yeah. a blind date. It was <laughs> a blind <laughs> date, yeah. 50 yeah. years on from that cup in that cafe in Camden. Know, and yeah. you're still, still rocking yeah. and rolling. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It is quite incredible, really. Oh, my God. It really is. Um, did you get any other uh, uh, people applying? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, I had quite a few um, auditions, right. but but this one's kind of it's easy because three piece. Yes, yeah, three piece. You know, Grant's got all of these songs. He could play guitar. John was a great drummer. I just just fit in. Uh, so, it. so you came over from Japan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, wh when was that? When. 91 91 and you did you all because you didn't you come over as a design student or a... yeah i wanted to study some graphic design and computer you know, so so design. where did you do that for a bit uh i tried but i didn't have any. okay and so and so tell us about you and music before you came over to the uk yeah well, I, you know i used to play music when i was in japan and uh, but i didn't really expect uh to play Basic guitar again, but it just uh, I was in Portobello Market. I met uh, these guys, one of them was a DJ, another guy was a singer. I said, uh, Do you play any music? Because I had long hair, and blah blah blah. So, yeah. yeah, I used to play basic guitar. So, we went to second hand shop in Notting Hill Gate, and I just bought. Um, I know the shop. Be, yeah. I know the shop. Yeah. With all the amps and yeah, all the. Yeah, yeah that's the, It was shop. a record and tape exchange yes, as well, yes, wasn't yes. it? So that's it was, the uh, one. What, is it still there? Ah, it was, sure. it was, I think it was the original record and tape exchange. Oh, really? My, what a shop. I spent yeah. hours in there. Just talking about yeah, the yeah, everything. I spent hours in there, <laughs> especially if it's raining. Yeah, yeah. Oh, especially if it was raining. What would rock and roll do yeah. without Portobello Road and Camden Town? I remember that shop well, actually. Yeah. How it's many like bands on would wall. not have happened if Camden Town yeah, and, and Portobello didn't have the vibe? Mm. I know. They I know. still have, thank God. Camden, you know, there was such an amazing scene, wasn't it? it you was, know, yeah. with the uh, Splash Club and the Bar Fly and everything. You know, that's where we started off, really. Yeah, I was watching the new Amy Winehouse movie on right, okay. uh, Tuesday and Dublin Castle right in there. Oh, well, yeah, okay. actual Dublin, Dublin Castle. Castle. Warwick Castle was in there as well. Right, okay. The good mixers in there as well. Yeah. Oh, my God. T what? The Falcon. Oh, what days. <laughs> the Monarch. Oh, oh they were the best places. ever. Yeah. Um, did you live in Camden? Yeah. Where about? Oh, Camden Road. Well, I was yeah. in Camden Square to start with, this little tiny room, and then I... Well, and then so I where Amy Camden ended Road. her days in Camden Square? Yeah, she lived just a bit further down the left-hand yeah, side. She had a big house. Yeah, I had a flat on Camden Road. I wrote... Loads of feeder songs in there, yeah. and there was Where the. Where were you at the time, Tucker? Oh, I was a Kenzo Green. Green. Yeah, yeah. And there wow, was a... rock and roll. And, and what about you two now? You two coming on, coming in, <laughs> coming in hot. Yes. We got Tom, we got Jeff. Uh, Tom is on guitar, and Jeff is on. The, is it the Kahan? Kahan, yeah. The Kahan. You got. You got some sneaky shakers in your Kahan. He has it all. It's a sock. Actually, is he a sock? Yeah, a sock. I can just do like a hip hop beat. Chris, Chris, he is the king of the Kahan. He's How so cool. good on that thing. It How cool amazing. is that, man? It's just, I, I didn't realise my left foot could do this, but, it, but I stuck. Well, it, it, well, it really can. And it's it, just, it's, there it is. All right, so listen, Black Ready's out. Um, you've had this lovely, successful tour of these uh, smaller gigs, these in stores. You got three more left. Um, you're almost at the end. If this was a marathon, you're in the final mile of the marathon. Do you have a sprint finish in you for these last three dates you got? Um, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> it's been such a great vibe, hasn't it? This, yeah, you know, this tour because we basically finished. Uh, we had about two days off after our UK tour, which was amazing, and then 
I've still not unpacked my main case. It's still in my living room. Nice. It's, there's quite a bit of washing to do. <laughs> and it just went straight out doing this in stores, like, you know, signings. It's been a really, in fact, I think it's been the busiest kind of week that we've ever done, actually, Good in 30 you. years. It's been mad. Well, today at half past seven, Signature Brew in London, a couple of tickets left, apparently. Uh, Rough Trade East London tomorrow, midday. So two more London dates and then t- a two date day tomorrow, two gig day tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you finish it all on the South Coast in Brighton. What a laugh. What yeah. a perfect way to finish. What yeah. a perfect place to finish. Yeah. I know. Well, there's, no I know. Well, there's know. nowhere else left to play. You're in the sea after that, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. You have to swim, yeah. I think we're playing at a place called Chalk. It's like a club there, isn't it? Yeah. So we Super think cool, man. Yeah. Uh, you described the new album as a musical pilgrimage. Just speak to that, if you don't mind, Gareth, a bit more. It was just, well, obviously lots of songs. You know, I mean, it's like a double album, so it's like the full like prog rock experience, you know what I mean? But, you know, we've always wanted to make a double album. I've always got cold feet, but I thought, you know what, after being a band for 30 years, we, we you know, we need to do something different. And, you know, we've got a lot of songs, you know, I'm still writing a lot. So I thought, you know, why not? So I think what I was trying to say was, you know, there was a lot of love and a lot of work, you know, that's gone into it. And I was, you know, we've been extremely focused on it. And I think the album hopefully hasn't got any filler because, you know, often like double albums, are, they, there can be a lot of filler. Yeah, yeah. So... Hopefully, well, uh, you've people given agree. them their own album, really, haven't you? Because that's the Black Red thing. Yeah, you've got yeah, it's like two separate albums, so yeah. it's not one long listen. So, so, so it gives you a break in the middle, you know, rather than it just be one long player. So cool, man! So cool. Well, it's great to see you. Good uh, to see you. Peaky or Powers <laughs> yeah. uh, festivals this summer. Yeah, we did quite a few. We, we, uh, we did Kendall Calling. I can't remember all that. We did Isle of Wight Festival. Um, oh, it's, it's about ten, isn't it? We did many festivals yeah. in many fields. There's so many festivals. There's lots now. of feeder fun to be had. Yeah. You're not called Feeder because you met in the cafe, are you? No. Although there is a Feeder cafe in Bristol, and there's actually a Feeder road in Bristol as well, and there's a Feeder canal. Right, I've never asked you that question. How, how can we call Feeder? I know it's a, it's a route one question. Um, but. Well, there, there was a story about me having like a fish, a, a goldfish called Feeder, but actually it was really, I think we were trying to sort of fit in with all the Britpop bands. It was like Breeders and like Sleeper. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the name kind of looked good on a board. Because now it's like, it's the double O, isn't it? It's the Google and the Whoop and yeah, the Zoom yeah. and the Hoopla and the Zoopla. Oh, yeah. But yeah. then it was the double E. It, yeah, exactly. I mean, the sort of trends, and, and of course we weren't, you know, we weren't like a Britpop band, but we were playing with lots of those bands. We thought, well, at least we look, you know, we kind of sort of like fit in on the poster. What's your but, most Brit, Britpop moment that you can recall? What's the most saying, vintage, oh, not the God, most, but like give give us like you know a couple of highlights. Oh, Taka, can you think of any? I mean, I mean, I knew like Donna from Alaska, you know, like way before she was in that band. Yeah. So she 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 was from Newport. She used to come and watch us rehearse in a cow barn in South Wales. Wow. And then she ended up in Alaska. Uh, that was quite quite surreal. But it's just lots of I don't know any times you can think of. You know, you know the whole Britpop era. Go. I say like the Splash Club and the Barfly was like yeah, really yeah. vibey because like, Barfly, every band played yeah, there. Barfly, Everyone Barfly, Barfly. Yeah. That was amazing. That place. It just yeah. had everyone from like Oasis to like Placebo, yeah. Feeder, you know, all the Britpop bands. Well, you know, the older we get, and we're never old, and people who are older than us, <laughs> no, they get the really annoyed when we say it on the radio. Yeah. Go, you don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. So I've yeah. now shut up about that. But we, we're allowed to get older because everybody is. Um, but I always said, you know, if I could go back in time, yeah. you know, one ticket for any moment in time, yeah. you know, do you go back to, I don't know, um, uh, you know, the, the, the um, Jesus Christ, the resurrection of Christ, yeah. the fall of the Roman Empire, <laughs> the pyramids. I go, no, I want to be smack bang in the middle of the 60s, circa 62, 66, mm. uh, Beatles, Red Album, whatever, to pick, take a pick, um, you know. But now because the 60s must have been amazing, yeah. even though I was alive in the 60s, just about. And I, can, I think I can remember hearing Marmalade by the Beatles on the radio, but I think I might have made that up. I'm not sure. But um, <laughs> but the more the further we get away from the 90s, I think we sort of had our go. Yeah, It was a bit like that, wasn't it? Because the whole thing about Camden is I was li- I lived in I lived in um, Oval Road in Camden, and okay. then as I earned a few more quid, I just moved a bit more up the hill. Right. I never got to Hampstead, but I got right. to Belsize Park. And I went to all the pubs, the engineer, all those kind of, you know, yeah. these great, great pubs. And just you talking about it there now makes me um, reflective and um, nostalgic about mm. those days. Because Monday was like a Friday, wasn't it? it Wednesday was, crazy, was like a Sunday. Mm. It was such a fun time, wasn't yeah. it? The calendar, it didn't matter what date it said on the calendar. <laughs> what date, we just had all <laughs> Sorry, everyone. We had all the fun. <laughs> Do you know, Chris? That is so true. And there was no social media. There was no. I mean, yeah. didn't even had like you know like fans really. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Half the time. MTV was right in the middle of Camden before yeah. that. TVM yeah. was there. Well, you know, you didn't know who you were going to see at Camden Market. On us, I had a stall in Camden Market. It was great. Right. Man. You know, it was fantastic. Well, I remember yeah. doing. We did like Insomnia. That was our first like top twenty, and we did it. You know, with you on the yeah, um, yeah. on TFI. I remember that like really well. Yeah, that, that wasn't a quiet time, was it? <laughs> that was a great. That Definitely. Was a great oh, yeah. <laughs> We've got a meeting with TFI with and Netflix about TFI on Monday. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, it's a great goes. show. We'll let you know. Okay. Great. We'll let you know. There's what no more left like that. It's, you know, it's yeah. a real shame. Well, you know, there needs to be more. Bring it back. Never bring it say back. Never. Bring it back. Bring it back. Never say never. Never say never. Come on. All right, listen, everybody, listen up. Tickets some more info for everything to do with Feeder, feederweb.com, feederweb.com. Uh, those in-store signings, London tonight, tomorrow, Brighton tomorrow, probably sold out by now. But anyway, have a look, feederweb.com. Brand new album is out now, uh, available from where you stream, wherever you get your stuff. Uh, physical copies available from feederweb.com as well. Okay, Black- let's hear it for Grant Nicholas! Yes. Thank you. Thanks for Taka Hirose! <laughs> and Jeff Holroyd! Yeah. And Tom Lisa, one more time, Feeder! Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. All right, everything Feeder, feederweb.com, rock and roll. Yeah.